Boy, you're talking to the quietest guy out of the Hughes family. <laughs> That's seven boys, one girl, and my six-foot mother. <laughs> Needless to say, we, uh, we walked the street and narrow. Oh, she was taller than anyone there. Well, at least until we almost grown. Uh, you're also looking at probably, and I probably shouldn't say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. You're probably talking to one of the quietest guys in the state of Texas. I'm a non-talker. I don't visit that much. I can remember going to college and carrying a magazine with me everywhere I would go because when I was outside and somebody would come my way, I would grab my magazine <laughs> <laughs> and start reading. And uh, this was, well, I don't know if I could ever explain that or not. You have seven boys, one girl, And the only one in the house that wouldn't talk was me. <laughs> the other guys, everywhere, you name it. And even at home, when we have a meeting, guess who they want to speak? I can't believe this. <laughs> and I'm a guy that, <clears throat> I live in books, and I can remember a, a, a visiting teacher coming to our university, and his theme was the usefulness of useless knowledge. <laughs> he said, this falls down on those people that read, 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 and read, but they don't pay any attention to it until later on and all of a sudden it dawns on them. There's no such thing as useful, useless knowledge. It's there somewhere. You just need to use it. Well, I guess that's what stuck me in the ear because I'm a talker. <laughs> when I'm in the gym, when I visit players, where we go and what we do, and the most important thing, never, ever let anybody outwork you, period. <laughs> and this is what we did. Nobody is going to outwork us, period. It's just not going to happen. If you're at the gym at 6, We'll beat you by an hour and a half. <laughs> Lady told me once, you have my baby in the gym on a Sunday. I said, ma'am, if the worst thing that happens to you, baby on a Sunday is in the gym, you need to cry, praise the Lord. <laughs> and I just, I never had that problem. I have the quiets, but we can go eyeball to eyeball, too. <laughs> and I don't take prisoners. <laughs> this is something that I've done, and it was done because I was blessed. And I didn't know that until later. But then again, this is something that you can ruin by being braggadocious about it. And my, one of my best heroes is Joe Lewis the fighter. And he always said, if you have to tell them who you is, you ain't. 